Hello, I'm Reverend Michael Mugford. I'm in ministry at Coal Harbor Woodside United Church, and I'm pleased to offer this spiritual reflection today. It was supposed to be for December 27th, but I'm a day late. It's December the 28th. As I got thinking about having missed yesterday's deadline and uh, making up for today, I couldn't help but notice that the 28th of December is uh, three days past Christmas and three days before the new year. So it kind of uh, stuck in my mind that it was sort of an in-between time. Uh, it is almost uh, as we theologians and church people might think, it is almost eschatological. An eschatology is simply that, that time which is the now but the not yet, in between. We've just come off a very busy season in the church uh, uh, with Christmas, multiple services, and the four weeks of Advent leading up, helping us to journey towards the birth of the Christ child. And we're waiting and watching, standing on the doorstep of, of 2024. And it makes me wonder, it's made me wonder, what do we do in between times? How do we prepare for the times that are ahead? We can't see the future, but the signs of today and the paths that are ahead of us are all around us. It is important for us, I think, to take some time and think about those things. Um, what do we hope? What do we dream? What do we envision for 2024 uh, for ourselves? for our churches, and for our world. I think given all that's happening in, uh, in, in Gaza and in Ukraine and in so many other places around the world, uh, I think the, the, the desire for peace is the thing that is most on so many people's minds. Uh, we're looking for ways in which we can live together and and create a world that is is better and is more equitable that is more uh, in line with the vision that god has offered uh, to us uh, in the so many ways that that the spirit is present with us and to us in our world as christians we see god clearly in the person of jesus of nazareth uh, in the other traditions around the world, we see God or gods as, as images of, of hope, of, of caring, of love, of, of drawing out the very best of who we are uh, as human beings. And that's my hope for 2024. It's been uh, a good year, but a difficult year. And I hope and I pray and I'm committed to working for for new birth, new change, uh, committed to wanting to see peace in my own life, but also in your lives and in the lives of those in our faith communities and in our wider communities. My hope and my prayer is that we might just take a few moments in the days that are leading up to January 1st and think about and pray about where we see God calling us to be in the days that are ahead. 2024 stands as an artificial moment in time in that it's uh, January 1st and a new year is, is our creation as human beings, but it is an opportunity for us to mark a new beginning, a new path, a way of looking at hope and expectation for the future. We move from the birth of Jesus on the 25th and its celebration to the baptism of Jesus very quickly into uh, early part of, of January with John the baptizer. And by that point in those week or so, Jesus is all grown up and he's moving into his, his ministry. So as the year turns and as we move forward, my hope is that we too will take the time to uh, look ahead, to think about where we are called 
and how we as individuals and as communities of faith will seek to make a difference for our for our friends and families for our churches and for our wide, wider community and for the world as a whole and so from Cole Harbor Woodside United Church and from my house to yours I hope you have had a Merry Christmas and I wish and pray for us for peace and joy and love and hope in the year that is to come. Peace.